I'm here showcasing the Greyjar D&D dice tray, dice tower, and storage. What makes this really unique is this dice rolling tower. And this is something that you don't need to assemble. It comes pre-assembled, and I'll get into that in a little bit. The first thing I want to show you, however, is the fact that you have six dice set storage bins here. Basically, you could fit six sets of dice separate out the colors, easy to go. You also can have the rolling tray off to the left or the right. You know, you have a full-size rolling tray, and say you have the DM set, you have your own little rolling tray over here where you attach the dice tower as well. But you can see here is this other orange dice. These are 3D acrylic orange dice here. Just the way they look on the velvet purple looks really nice. I'll put them in another set here just to show you an example. So, yeah, you can fit your typical set of d, &D dice in here, each one. You won't be able to fit a ton of dice, just about one set in each container. Now, this dice rolling tower is really impressive. I have used plastic dice rolling towers before, and this one is just way better than all the plastic ones that I've used because it's velvet lined on the inside. The dice just roll nicely. It doesn't make a lot of clicking noise like it does when you roll the dice in the, um, the plastic towers. And they just come out really nice and randomized. And it just looks great watching them roll in and come out and randomize instead of shaking it in your hand. It just adds a nice little flair and a nice little touch. Now, one thing I will tell you about this dice tower that's particularly awesome is it's magnetic on the bottom and sticks to the sides. So no matter which side you want to put it on in your rolling area, it actually holds it in a vertical position. And it's a decent enough magnet that it holds it in place so that you could just simply put your dice tower, attach it to one of the sides on your rolling area, and you're good to go. And you can see how easy it is just to plonk your dice in there, let them just roll through the velvet, you know, the velvet angled steps so that they could come out with a randomized roll. Ooh, natural 18. So again, just a really nice touch, this whole velvet dice set with a dice rolling tower. Out of all the dice towers, and dice rolling towers are somewhat of a gimmick, right? You know, instead of shaking the dice and rolling a whole bunch of dice, but out of all the dice rolling towers that I've ever used, this velvet lined inside one is by far better than any of the plastic ones I've ever used. So if you're looking for a dice storage box, one that includes not only a set of dice, but it includes a couple of different rolling trays as well as a rolling tower, Tower, this is one of the ultimate packages you can get for a role-playing game player or a DD and d player, and I highly recommend this. This is just an excellent set, and it's just very cool. I mean, the color purple is just amazing, and you can see the dice rolling tower holds magnetically to the side really well, even at a tilt. I'm just really impressed with the design of the dice rolling tower. It's very well designed. And I just like the little dragons around the pole in the center. There's a nice logo. Honestly, this is one of the coolest little gifts you can get for a dungeon master or a D&D player that they could take to their campaign. And six dice sets is more than enough for a player. As a DM, of course, I use more than six dice sets. But this is just an excellent little gift. And honestly, you know, having your dice rolling on a tray with a velvet lining like this is better than rolling it on, say, a glass table or a wood table where, you, where some dice, especially metal dice, can dent tables and whatnot. So highly recommended gift for your D&D player. I certainly enjoyed it a lot.